Hello, welcome to the Drive Print version 5 technical training course. This is the first introduction video. As you'll see, we've totally we retooled Drive Print from the ground up, uh, adding a lot of features, a lot more scalability, and uh, I think you'll like what you see. So, um, this course is going to help you to be able to install it, configure it, and maybe get a little better idea for what's going on under the hood. Drive Print is a server-based print output management application that lets con organizations control and track the prints coming from desktops, mobile phones, tablets, Chromebooks, any device to any device to any printer. Uh, we can control and route that information. Um, one of the most common ways that Drive Print is used is with our embedded application on a supported MFP device. And once we do that, we can control the authentication to the device through a couple different methods like a my code or HID card. We can then uh, report on all the usage for that device. So scans, faxes, copies, prints, anything like that we can now report on. We've got a embedded follow me printing application for our MFP integrations. Also included as mobile and guest printing. Uh, we also have an upload page, detailed usage tracking and reporting, and something new that's in version 4 is uh, MFP usage reporting and consumables, so we can actually help you track all of the consumables on a device, both from a reseller perspective and also for troubleshooting for the customer. We're going to talk a little bit here about the architecture of Drive Print. As I said before, it's a server-based application that connects devices, tablets, mobile phones, computers, laptops uh, to a print server and then ultimately to a printer or an MFP. Um, Drive Print is unique in that we can actually, with MFPs, report on the usage for the MFPs without the prints actually having to go through the print server. Users can still print directly to the machine and we'll report on all that traffic. Uh, but typically Drive Print is, like I said, installed on a print server, uh, whether it's existing or a new one that's set up for a customer. And that serves as sort of the, the key between the devices and the printers. So this training course is going to cover the Drive Print Express edition. There's also a standard edition, which is used in larger, more unique implementations. Uh, the basic difference is that the Express Edition, which is a version available on our website, includes all of the core components that are set up. So when you download that Express Edition, it's the only thing you should have to run. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about which Microsoft features it's going to set up automatically uh, in the next video. But at least in terms of the drive functions, we've got four main services that are going to run on that server where you're installing the Express Edition. The kernel service is what handles all the print management between the computers and the printers. Uh, that's going to work very closely with the spooler on the print server. It also hosts the embedded MFP applications. So each MFP will be communicating with the kernel service here on the drive print server. It also handles the reporting for all those events and things for the printers and the MFPs. The app server is the IIS site where you can go as an administrator to make changes, configure printers, configure MFPs, change the drive print system, and also it's where the user can go to log in and see all their traffic, all their print history, their consumables, all that kind of uh, reporting information. There's also a supervision console. The supervision console is used for managing all the guest users and the cards that users have registered. And it's where you can set up device notifications. The supervision console is installed automatically with the Express Edition. However, in a more distributed environment, the supervision console is used to report on the status of different print servers. So if you've got 10 different print servers across a network, they would all work with a central supervision console so that you could keep a status of all the different printers and print servers across the network. 
But like I said, it is installed automatically for managing a couple other things as a part of the Express Edition. The last major service that's running here is the database. Drive Print Express will install SQL Express uh, for its own internal reporting, statistics, and quota management services. Now, it's going to do that automatically as a part of the Express Edition. You can actually switch it once you've done the install if the customer has their own SQL server that they would like to use. Uh, but the Express Edition is meant for small to medium-sized environments where it's all going to be self-contained here. But you can either switch it afterwards or cancel that part of the installer if you want to use an existing SQL server in a customer's environment. And there will be a video at the end talking about large environments or distributed environments where we can kind of show how those things might be broken out. So the licensing for Drive Print version 5 is similar to previous versions. Uh, it's very simple. We started as a copier dealer. We know how this works. We know how to make it easier for you guys to sell and provide this as a service. Um, that's why we do not charge for user licenses. We do not charge for server licenses. We only charge for MFP licenses and network printer licenses. And in fact, for every MFP license that you buy, you'll get two network printer licenses uh, along with that. There's also an optional network card reader license if you have a network printer and you want to attach a networked card reader to it for follow me printing. And we also sell a USB HID reader that we can provide pricing on uh, if you don't have a current vendor for the actual card reader itself. But to go back, as I said, we do not charge for user licenses. It's all MFP and device based. This is meant to make it easier for you uh, to get rid of all the unknowns when you're pricing something like this, especially in a bid situation. Uh, and like I said, you get two extra network printer licenses for every MFP license that you, that you purchase.